Hi there, my name is Peter Janis, and I'm here from Radial Engineering on behalf of Sweetwater at NAM 2011. And today, we're going to talk to you a little bit about the workhorse and some of the modules. Um, the workhorse is now shipping. Boy, that's the biggest news of all. Uh, in fact, Sweetwater is the first dealer to get one. Uh, so, um, the workhorse, what is it? It's a 500 series rack. What's cool about it is that you can put in eight modules and you have an eight channel mixer that lets you turn on or off modules just as you need them. So you just pick and choose your module. You can have eight mic pre's for example and then they can you know, be all submixed here. You've got Jensen transformer coupled on the output, you got an auxiliary out and you got a super loud headphone out with two sets of headphones. The idea there of course is that we could be recording you know, in a live environment and the producer and the engineer can speak listening to the set of headphones together. So it's a combination of both. Um, 19 inch rack, all standard stuff. Um, there's also here a tray uh, that makes it really easy to align modules, but you can remove it. A lot of people say, yeah, but I've got it too wide or whatever. Absolutely, you can remove it. If you've got some old API modules that don't line up right, you can pull that out and it'll work fine. So we made it to adapt to, of course, the new standard that we've set, but it's also backwards compatible to everyone else's modules. Now, if you look at the back, you'll notice you've got just a ton of connectivity. What we've got is we've got input, output with XLRs, we've got input, output with quarter inch, and we have input, output with D-sub. This is perfect for the guy that has a Pro Tools setup. He wants to be able to interface and have fun with Pro Tools and you know digital and go to analog and back to digital. So that's what we've designed it for. Finally, there's a little function here called Omniport, which allows you to essentially um, give each module some personality. So for example, on our mic pre, that's a guitar input. On uh, the DI box, the JDV, it's actually a DI box output. So the Omniport depends on the type of module, so it's an extra feature. Finally, there's a little function here called Feed. That means that I could feed one module into the next module into the next module into the next module, so I could create a preamp that has a preamp, compressor, EQ, gate, all that kind of stuff, and set it up any way I want. So if you really think about it, it's like having a super deluxe mixing console that can be one channel or eight channels, depending on how you want to set it up for your studio. Um, outputs, real simple, XLR, TRS, grounding for your studio. You've got a link function here that'll let you gang these up together. So you can have, let's say, four or five of these things um, combined together. So the workhorse, uh, retail for about $1,600. Um, just a really easy to use device. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's so cool because it's fast, easy, plug and play, away you go. Oh, I should play one thing before I forget. Powering, we get a lot of people asking us about powering. They're worried that um, some of the other module, um, racks don't give them enough power. This thing has 1200 milliamps of pooled current. And what that means is that um, instead of typically 130 milliamp per slot, which is maybe not enough for a tube, you can use 200 milliamps here, 300 milliamps here, 100, 150, 50, 25, 25. So as long as you don't surpass 1200 milliamps, you're set to go. So it's hugely flexible. That's um, basically the workhorse from Radial Engineering here at NAM 2011 on behalf of Sweetwater.